Anna from thecheesethief.com, today crafting for consumercrafts.com. And today I'm gonna to be showing you three unconventional watercolor resist techniques. If you don't know what watercolor resist is, it's just basically putting something on your paper to resist the color. So for example here, this is using an embossing technique that I use so that you will not watercolor over it. So I'm gonna start off with this tutorial, so let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need watercolor paper, Spectrum Aqua markers, embossing powder, an embossing heat gun, Zig two-way glue marker, rubber cement, a white crayon, and a spray bottle filled with water. So I'm gonna start off by taking my watercolor paper and I am going to start with the embossing technique. This is my favorite technique probably the easiest and the clearest one. So I'm gonna take my Zig two-way glue pen and I'm just gonna write something on the corner over here. So what should we write? Let's write, be brave. Okay, and I'm using some holographic embossing powder um, you can use clear embossing powder to make it a complete uh, clear resist, but I like the way this holographic one looks. So there's my Be Brave, and I'm going to just heat it up with my heat gun. Okay. So I'm gonna watercolor everything at the end. I'm gonna do all my resist techniques and then we're gonna watercolor the end. So my next resist technique is to use rubber cement. So rubber cement um, is really thick and ooey and gooey, but it's harder to use. But um, this is probably more like a real resist. They just use a thinner version. So I'm just gonna put some on my little paint tray and then grab a small brush. This one I'm gonna write, be happy. So let's see, let's write it on this corner over here. And this one is hard to see, it's really clear, so you have to make sure that you kind of have good lighting. Okay, so I wrote, be happy. It's hard to see, it's very, very clear on that one. And now I'm going to use my last resist technique, which is just using a Crayola white marker. And this one I'm going to write on top, be you. Okay, and now we are ready to use our watercolor, but I'm not going to use real watercolor. I am going to use these Spectrum Aqua markers and you and color them and then uh, spray over them with water to give it a watercolor look. And that's what I did with this one. Okay, so you can see all the resist techniques, but they don't look like anything yet because I'm gonna use my little spray bottle now and I'm going to start spraying the watercolor so that it kind of melds together. So you'll see, let's start with this one, that the colors just kind of start blending and then they start moving and then it has like this really cool watercolor technique. So let me move this over. This is like probably the coolest thing there. So I'm just, you don't have to spray it too much. You don't want too much water on it. You just want to spray it until the water keeps moving, starts moving and mixing. I'm gonna spray the top one. You also don't want to move your paper too much or else the, you don't want the colors to get too muddy. And then you're just gonna take a little wet brush. If you want to mix the color some more, you can take a little wet brush and just kind of go through and like 
bring the colors together or you can just leave it um, if you want like the colors to be more segregated. You're going to clean your brush in between if you don't want the colors to get all muddy. And then now we're really going to wait for this to dry and then we're going to have to rub off the rubber cement and then probably scrape off some of the white crayon and then we can take a little q-tip and rub that off. But this is so pretty right now. I love the way it looks. So let's wait for this to dry and I'll rewrite it back. So my watercolor is dry and we're going to rub the rubber cement off of this so that you can see the resist. So you can use your finger or a little eraser to help you just rub it off. And you see right now you can kind of pull it off and you can see that you're pulling off some of the color that's on top of the rubber cement. The rubber cement just rubs off the paper. So anywhere that you missed, like over there I missed little rubber cement, the paint just went through. And you can still see brush strokes of where I brushed the rubber cement. But that gives it the different look than just a pure straight resist. But it looks still really pretty with all the colors. So that says be happy. And then this one, you don't have to do anything. You could take a little Q-tip if you want, if there's any uh, colors that, that stuck onto the embossing, but really the only colors that really stay are the ones in the little cracks that just will sit there because they are in between your embossing. So that one says be brave. I really love the way this color scheme turned out. It just looks amazing and it's really glittery in person. Let's be happy, be brave. And this is the one with the crayon. And this is the simplest technique because you just write it with a crayon and you probably have all these supplies at home. If you want, you could just take your nail and kind of rub off any white crayon, but it won't really take off that much of the color. So the how you see it is really how it is. And I also love the way this color looked and just how the crayon turned out too. So there are my three resist techniques. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, um, and check out consumercrafts.com for all the materials listed in this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and remember to be kind to one another. Until next time, bye now.